I had to give advice, it's the, you know, there's only two things in life that we can be completely certain about. We're all gonna have to die, but we're all gonna have to live until we die. How are you gonna live? When I was diagnosed with cancer, I was on top of the world. I had won a reality show. I played soccer professionally, helped start a charity, and then sideswiped. And I got a diagnosis of a rare form of blood cancer. On my first round with Hodgkin's lymphoma, I couldn't think about the future. I couldn't even, I didn't even understand what the future could look like. What are you gonna do when the doctors tell you that there's a 50% chance that you're gonna be dead in five years? You know, when I was 14 years old, cancer came into my home and it took my father away from me. So my only connection to cancer was death. And then I met Lisa, an incredible woman. I didn't want to bring someone else into this chaotic, horrible time in my life. And, uh, I tried to push her away. She told me, you know, cancer's taken so much from you, like, don't let it take this too. And uh, it was at that moment that I pretty much knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life. This is after 22 blasts of radiation. This is my port, and you can see all my skin just peeling away from the radiation. I've been in here a full week so far. And let me tell you, it hasn't been so easy. I was open to using cannabis to help mitigate some of the side effects of cancer treatments. I definitely used that at certain times when you know, things were really, really hard. I was really sick or I just had insomnia. Uh, that's when I dug into it. And then once I emerged from the hospital and they gave me that, all right, you're clean, you're in remission, you know, that is when the fear of relapse was debilitating. Darkness is there and fear and loneliness and isolation and you think about the worst things that could possibly happen. And for me, the worst thing that could possibly happen was, you know, the cancer would come back and I'm dead. back what if I die you know what if I never get married what if I never have children like what is my life gonna be like you just get on this hamster wheel of destructive thoughts and it was paralyzing this anxiety and this fear kept me from living a life and for me that's where cannabis uh, was a huge help you know it helped reduce the anxiety reduce the stress you know uh, wasn't as fearful of the cancer coming back. I could sleep at night and it just, you know, it made me feel better about myself. I usually take CBD every day. I take it like a multivitamin in the form of a tincture. And if I need something a little bit stronger, you know, I'll use a one-to-one -one ratio of CBD to THC. And as an athlete, my whole life, you know, there's all a little bit of stigma associated with, you know, smoking weed or taking cannabis, but there's a responsible way to do it. And, you know, I consulted a doctor on it. You know, he kind of helped prescribe what I may need and when I may need it and how I should take it and what's the healthiest way to do it. And so, you know, that made me feel a little bit more confident about incorporating that into my, like, every day. You know, I'm not adverse to modern medicine. Now. I'm a firm believer in it. You know, one of the drugs that I was on uh, was derived from a rare African flower called the rosy periwinkle, then Christine. That was part of the chemotherapy regime that saved my life. You know, nature is the world's pharmacy. And cannabis, something that was like grown from the earth, makes me feel better about myself. Self-help is a radical act. You know, I'm winding my way to more peaceful and balanced life and cannabis is part of this. <sighs> I could finally take a deep breath, you know? And I could just shed that fear of 
the cans coming back. I guess I want to say it's just like one of the best feelings you could ever have in the world because when you're controlled by something for so long and then you can you know climb that mountain you know finish the race and look behind you and just kind of like give a little wave goodbye that that's living. We're all survivors on this earth for a very short time. And it's not about how or when we leave this world. It's what we do to make the most of each day while we're here.